Welcome in everyone. Today we're going to be going through all the things that you need to know about Sea of Stars. So let's not waste any time and get right into it. Sea of Stars pulls inspiration from classic RPGs like Illusion of Gaia, Breath of Fire and Chrono Trigger, creating a delicious nostalgia stew. Their sailing, side quests and the ever popular pastime of finding your enemy's elemental weaknesses, because what's a little combat without some psychological warfare? It's a prequel to The Messenger, set thousands of years before the events of its predecessor. In this game, you'll be donning the virtual shoes of Zale and Valir. We don't know too much about these two, they're a little mysterious, a little aloof like that brooding character in a teen drama who always sits in the back of class. But we do know they've got this sweet sun and moon powers combo going on and they use it to do some wicked eclipse magic. What's their mission? It's to stop an evil alchemist known as the Fleshmancer, because apparently Bob the mildly unsettling alchemist just didn't have the same ring to it. Though the demo itself didn't give us much insight into most of the things this game has to offer, what I can say is that it genuinely felt fun to play. Taking a look at the combat, the game's combat was a really fun take on an old turn-based system, engaging us further by allowing more control over the flow of the fight. With each round, you can cycle through your characters and choose which one will take their action first. This opens up a lot of possibilities for combos as opposed to a more traditional turn-based time tracker. There is a timed button press mechanic that is a revelation. Using skills like the Moonerang to administer a serving of pain is extremely satisfying. Timing your deflections can lead to a numerous amount of hits. You can also use the time action button to reduce incoming damage or get a combo hit on your enemies with your basic attack. There's also the charge up effect that you can use to bolster your skills. You can do this by first using your basic attack to knock orbs onto the ground and then choosing which characters would absorb them on their respective turns. The game's combat also has this lock feature. It's a row of blocks appearing above enemies before they launch a special attack. If you hit the enemy with the right types of attacks, you can weaken or even cancel out their attack, like a mini game inside the combat itself. Finding the right combinations to control the flow of battle is very strategic strategic, which I found to be really engrossing. And remember how old school RPGs made you bump into monsters every two steps, disrupting your peaceful hike? None of that nonsense here. No random encounters, no irritating transitions, and best of all, no grinding. It's like going to the dentist and finding out there's no cavity to drill. Let's have a look at the characters. Well, as we wander into the realm of character development, the demo does stumble a bit, like a tipsy pirate on a particularly wobbly ship. Don't get me wrong, it wasn't a complete disaster like pineapple on pizza, but while it was far from awful, it did leave a lot to be desired. Sure, there was this one scene in a bar where I caught a glimpse of what looked like personality. For a moment there I thought we'd struck comedic gold, but it was more like fool's gold, as the promising sparkle was rather short-lived and I was left feeling a little flat. A hero, Zale and Valir, seemed less like filled out characters and more like rough sketches of potential. They were inquisitive enough, but I couldn't help but feel like they were as engaged in the plot as a cat in a physics lecture. Their companion, Gal, did bring a sprinkle of cheese with his humour, the kind that makes you laugh in spite of yourself, and yes, I admit, I chuckled a little. In a tantalising tease though, they presented us with a beautifully written tale around a campfire. For fear of spoilers, I won't delve into it, but let's just say it was like finding a gourmet meal in a sea of fast food. It made me think, hey, maybe there is hope for this narrative. But don't go expecting a five course meal of a demo, it was more like the free sample you get at the grocery store. Sure it's enough to give you a taste, but hardly enough to gauge the full course meal that is the story and characters of Sea of Stars. I still have faith that the full experience will deliver on launch. Now, the music. The music in this game is like a sweet symphony that seduced my eardrums. It wasn't just background noise, it was like an auditory tour guide, setting the mood and enhancing every pixelated scene. In a gaming landscape where soundtracks often get more repetitive than a broken record, I honestly don't think I'd ever get tired of just soaking in its tunes, and that comes from someone with the attention span of a goldfish. The music hits the nostalgia sweet spot, as if it were trapped up in the warm, fuzzy memory of my first time stumbling around Final Fantasy VII, wide-eyed and full of wonder but at the same time it's fresh and unique enough to assert its own identity. It's like the love child of a classic vinyl and a Spotify playlist, an old soul with a new groove. I will definitely be getting this soundtrack to relax to in my downtime. So the conclusion. Here's the lowdown. Sea of Stars is a must play for me. Yeah, the characters could use a personality infusion or two. They're a bit like those breadsticks at a restaurant. They're there, but they're not the main course. However, I do admit the demo was about as substantial as a supermodel's lunchbox. Sure, it tantalizes, but it leaves you yearning for more. It felt like asking for a mug of hot cocoa on a freezing winter night and receiving an espresso cup. It certainly gets your attention, but it is a bit of a tease. But am I gonna let that stop me? Absolutely not. This game could have offered me a drop of the gameplay and I would have been diving in headfirst with my wallet open. Sea of Stars is a day one purchase for me personally. So there you have it, a nutshell size glimpse of Sea of Stars. Let us know in the comments if your opinion differs from ours, but until next time, take it easy.